Hey, what's up guys? It's C2 here. Today we're going over the second stage of chapter 4. I'm going to show you guys where everything are. And as always, I'm going to leave a map at the end of the video so you guys can check that out too. Alright, and let's just get right into it. First, you want to head backwards and just grab this costume real quick. And this whole level feels a little bit convoluted. Um, just a bunch of things going on, but it's really not as complicated if you just go through it uh, one map at a time. So there was a cave there, it just kind of goes in a loop. I'll show you guys where it leads to. Right here. And there is a treasure chest over behind this rock. And the way you get it is you just come up here on this little platform. And on this on this little launch pad, if you just walk onto it, it'll launch you to the first uh, first little island. And then we just make our way back again. And then this time we sprint onto it and it'll launch you to the second item. There we go. And now we got all three of the buttons. We can get the chest. All right, cool. There was a quest in the beginning of the level. Basically, you want to find a fugitive. And just walking past the level normally, you'll, you'll find him eventually, right here. He's just gonna run away, and in the end, you're gonna be able to catch him. Oops. Some cutscenes will play here. Interesting story for chapter 4. I'll skip this, as I feel like the stories are there for you to enjoy. Alright, now that's over. Just keep heading to the left, and just fight the fugitive real quick. And once you finish that quest, you can just head down here and talk to this guy. You still get to finish the, the quest even if you let him go. But this guy just looks really shady, so I'm not gonna not gonna help him. Like in this little desert town, he's dressing all fancy and stuff when everyone else seems really poor. I don't know, it doesn't sit well with me. Alright, just grab these tires. Get rid of these monsters and grab the star piece. And you'll also get a side quest here. Okay. And there is a fortune teller over here. You'll be able to finish the quest later down the line. Right now it's just kind of talking and showing you a bit of funny stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Those are the, I guess, the after effects of the fortune teller. Let's grab this real quick. Once you experience the after effect, you can come back, talk to the fortune teller again. There we go. Get smacked by the by some fruits. again okay just continue on with the story
the safe spot here. And you will meet the fortune teller once again. Doesn't matter what you say to her, she's just gonna do her thing and run away. And then you'll find out that she's actually a scammer. We are. Remember, there are two tires down here, so we want to pick those up. Wait for the guards, and we'll continue on. Alright, and this is where you get the Facebook follower over here, this cute little girl. Awesome. We'll just head over to the side, pick up some more tires, and we see our princess here, which is really cute once again. Trying to make some friends. Best girl, need to protect her at all costs. Then fighting some more monsters here. Really big arenas in this level. Because, um,. I feel like chapter 4 is when all the monsters start picking up in power and it's it's getting a little bit harder to just face roll everything. More tires. And a star piece to the left. And once you get into this room, you're gonna see um, a familiar face. Pick these tires up real quick and get our third chest treasure of this level. Up to her real quick and pick up the four tires. Also, there is a last star piece of the level down at the bottom. pretty much done with the level. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Not that much uh, complicated puzzles or anything. Basically just needs a little bit of exploration. Once again, if this video has helped you out, feel free to drop me a like, subscribe to my channel, and as always, have fun, keep up the grind, and take care.